Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the Brotato Diversified mod once again. Adds a whole bunch of characters, items, and weapons. Today, we're going to be checking out the final character, the Engineering Student. 5% damage for every Engineering, 10 luck and range. Wait, no, 10 luck and 15 range for every structure. Destroy all structures. 50% attack speed with tool weapons. Melee damage down by... Like, you just can't get melee damage or range damage. Elemental damage. Can't really get lifesteal. Can't get that much armor. Minus tox blight. This is some wild stuff. So, is this a tool? It's not. Do we have... Is there a tool item that is new? No. That's a shame, because it kind of seems like the only thing that, the only weapon that, like, really makes sense across the board would be screwdriver, but I want to try a new weapon. Is there an argument for using the book? It scales off of percentage damage, if I remember correctly. So I guess when we get engineering, we gain percentage damage, so it, it kind of scales off of engineering. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. It sucks that we're not going to get any benefit from the tool weapons, but I've done a lot of screwdriver runs, and I've even done, like, at this point, a fair amount of actual, like, DPS screwdriver runs as well. So I guess we're going to give this a shot. I've wanted to use this book since I've seen it. It's quite slow, but I think that's all right. If only it was a tool! I understand. Like, I wouldn't classify it as a tool, per se, but, like, if only. Um... Dodge is not bad today. Oh, God, I can't check that. Uh, Dodge is not bad today when we have um, a penalty to armor. Uh, I can't really get lifesteal, so I'm, I'm just going to go with HP regen right away. Chance to drop a material that's been picked up when an enemy dies. It, I just don't understand. Uh, steel, I'll, I'll probably get that. Minus melee damage does not harm us that much. Okay. I really like that. Because, and by not that much, I mean it doesn't do anything to us. Because this scales on percent damage. But uh, being able to steal in that first shop is really nice. Four books is quite good. Especially because they're quite slow. Laughs in not getting 50% attack speed. I promise it'll be the last time I mention it. It won't. <laughs> but... I don't know, that's the thing, is, because you get no melee damage, you get none, and you destroy all your structures, that means that the only weapon... Oh yeah, this is good. Oh, that's so good. The only weapon that actually works with the, uh, the character, like, one-to-one -one logically... Uh, do I force roll for the final book? I'm actually gonna say, nah, and I'm gonna get the fertilizer while we've got it. Just because 8 harvesting this early is pretty good, and like I said, this is a melee-looking weapon, but it does not scale off of melee damage. It scales off of percentage damage, which is so strange. It's going to be weird. Like, it, I think it'll ultimately be really, really nice, though, you know, because we have uh, no flat damage that we have to worry about picking up. We're picking up flat damage and percentage damage whenever we get damage up. HP regen's nice. I'm going to really want some attack speed, but... Yeah, I'm going to get some attack speed. Uh, crit dodge. I mean, I'll get our final book. Uh... This is tempting. I'll certainly get Peaceful B. Some dodge, some harvesting. That's really, really good today. I think that's going to be an item we'll be actively looking for more, than, uh, more often than not. Absolutely horrendous range on this book. We'll have to keep that in mind as well. Ow! Yeah. Wave 4 on low range runs, like with a low range weapon, is where you really can start to notice what could happen if you don't fix it. Like, typically I don't mind having not amazing range on melee, but this is actively... It's actively horrendous range to the point where we will we will need to fix it, even if it does penalize our attack speed. Even if it even if it does. Uh, okay, I'm going to get a harvesting here now, and then we'll get the percentage damage later. Inhibitor, I don't love it, because it is a damage down, but we eventually get it back. I'll take knowledge. 
grab the bag. And then we're good. But yeah, pretty, pretty slow. Community support would be a cool item today. I would happily take a, a coffee, even knowing that percentage damage down is extra problematic for us. But yeah, I'm, I love the inhibitor. It's kind of like a... It, it's sort of... If you can handle the early waves, it is basically a free item, right? And that's one thing I, I really like about it. It's, it plays very cleverly with the uh, the downside. Because if, if you get it early enough and you can handle having a penalty for a while, it is free. But those are those are two ifs, you know? Okay, so this is 10% uh, damage up? Yeah, that's nuts. Attack speed, please. 3 HP regen minus luck. I I'm gonna say I'm gonna say sure. More book. More book. I'm gonna get some more range. That's already pretty noticeable. But yeah, 150. Is that like is 150 the same as hatchet? I think it might be. But yeah, attack speed, a little bit of range. Ow! <laughs> oh, mama. That was frightening. But I guess, like, on a slower weapon, range doesn't matter as much, you know, because... Ooh, it's basically, like, high attack speed melee weapons are the ones that really actually notice the whole range slowing down your attack thing. I'm going to say no to this. I don't think I'm going to want to get it all the time. The attack speed. I know that there's the percentage there as well. Ooh. No, there's the percentage. I'll get the peaceful B. Hatchet. Hatchet does have slightly less range. But it is not much more than hatchet. Insanity is weird since we double dip on, on percent damage. But it has a two times crit multiplier. And that didn't even change the damage of the weapon. So, great. Oh, oh, clip. It's a 10% damage up. 10% damage up for three crit chance. Uh, It's worth it. Basically, we could combine this item and insanity together and look at it like a plus 7% damage and plus 3% crit. Which, when you look at both of those together, feels a little, a little weird. Ooh. Wait, huh. The multiplier goes up. But look at that. It barely changes. The damage goes 34, 37, 38. Cooldown goes down by 0.07. This upgrade's pretty poorly, but I think it's just because um, the scaling upgrade is going to be really, really noticeable like late game. You know, if we get more and more percentage damage ups over the course of time, I think that we will notice very quickly that it, it doesn't actually scale bad. Because, like, any kind of small change to that uh, the percentage is going to be a little bit wacky. Okay, smack him. Ow. All right, we got a little bit more range. Maybe these uh, bullet boys ain't going to be so bad. Please, 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 please. Really happy with the HP regen call. Basically, in my head, I'm treating this like a rock run, right? Anything that'd be good on a rock... Uh, fine. Attack speed up by a lot, yes. Anything that would be good on a rock-based run will be good here today, too. Steel. Um, okay, I'm gonna steal this and, and try and get some speed. Oh, compass is so good for us. And just like that, we're almost almost back at the positive for uh, our speed damage from Power Gen. Baby Gecko's fine. Get both of them. All right, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. But yeah, we're gonna want to get more and more speed up because damage percentage obviously is super super good. So Power Gen giving us another way to get just flat percentage damage, flat and percentage damage. Sorry, it's weird. I don't know how to phrase it. 
Because it is both. But I've always called it percentage damage. Because I think that that's what it's called in the base files. I can't remember. I think it's called percent underscore damage. So that's always just in my head, like, that's what I call the stat then. Ow. I'm playing with a lot of fire going in the middle so much there. But I don't mind it. It's working fine. It's working f Ow! Working fine. That was a little too risky. You could take another big hit and it wouldn't matter, so I can I can fish in the middle a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to go for the... F this is 20% damage up. That's crazy. Take 10 harvesting still. Uh, bowling hat. It's not in 10. No, it's not completely bad. Uh, six, I'm going to definitely take. Five HP regen to, for minus one max HP. That's pretty good. Head injury is a little bit suspect for me. I've not found a single structure. I've not found a single freaking structure, man. Also, what does it give me? Luck and range. Weird. What a weird, 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 weird setup that is. Okay. Ow. Come on, HP regen. Yeah, health, HP regen, dodge. All that would be quite nice. One would think we'll be, like, all right at high health targets. Because Rock is all right at high health targets. Okay. I'm loving just smacking them in the face with a book. Absolutely adoring it. Get that tree, get the tree, get the tree, get the tree, get the tree. Okay. That was a good wave. No explosion, no baby with a beard. 20% damage up, you just, I have to take it. It kind of makes the triceps not feel that appealing, you know? I'll take a 6% dodge, actually. Scar and head injury is a little bit, uh, because the range. HP regen. Bandanas are relevant. I'll take an alien worm with a little bit of eh. Engineering range minus lifesteal. That's really good for us. There's a landmines. We probably have skipped past uh, a landmines or something already. Compass is very nice. Like, we, we love, 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 love compass today. Okay. Wave 10, I expect to be a little bit, a little bit sketchy. Maybe not a lot sketchy, but a little bit sketchy. Let's try and bait out the big boys and get some kills. Okay. Ugh. Get them now before they become a problem later. Bait them out. Smack them. Okay. Get in there. <laughs> oh, no, 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 This is so freaking wild and dangerous. Oh, thank you for the dodge. It's nice to have a dodge run. Okay, attack speed, yes. I'm going to fix my luck a little bit. Eh, attack speed, dodge, no. Four engineering, so 20% damage up and 15 range. Yes, please. I think I could probably take missile. Repost is interesting because it, it scales off of melee damage. The damage it deals scales off of melee damage. Uh oh. Ow, run. Run until we get some of that uh, lovely, lovely HP regen back up in action. Okay. Not like this. Give me the full health. Thank you. God. I need max HP or armor or 
But armor's tough to get because we have the 33% penalty. Doesn't mean we shouldn't get it, you know? There's a lot of weird gimmicks on this character. It's an interesting mishmash. Ow. Ow. Thank God for all that HP regen. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him, thank you. All right, what's the legendary? Oh, it's not good for us. I'll take an inhibitor, but I feel bad about it. More attack speed seems great. Speed sounds actually pretty good. It's a damage up, even though it says it's a damage down. Now, there we go. That's pretty spicy. That's worth the three, the three down, of course. Boom! Huge! To my range 44, I'll take head injury. I don't want to take blood donation at all. Gentle alien. I Today is not really an add more enemies to the field kind of day. Slow weapon runs hate large crowds. And even with 59% uh, attack speed up, it's, just, it's still, you know, it's a slow weapon to begin with. Oh my god! It, it It is wild how uh, little we can uh, defend ourselves from small enemies. Small enemies spawning spaced apart is so much worse for us than, like, just a big enemy. Like, it is crazy how noticeable it, that strength of our run is. Or weakness. Like, we can kill the mummies almost as fast as we can kill the standard units. So it's just the fact, like, we need them to be clumped up more. Oh. Luck. I'll take some speed up. Head injury. Just tempting. Um, sedative could be okay. If I'm just okay with no crit chance, I'm actually good with sedative. It's a legendary. It only goes up by 2%. 5 luck minus 5 speed. What's my speed? I mean, it's 5% damage. 300 materials. It's worth it. We'll just have to... Uh, steal. 15% crit chance. 15% damage minus 3 speed. It, it's worth the trade-off. It, it, like, literally mathematically is worth the trade-off. And then we're back in uh, back in crit land, except sedative, well, sedative's only a minus 1% critical. Only a minus 1. But I'm going to probably be taking lots of them. Because dodge today is a very appealing stat, since I can't get a lot of armor. It's not that bad. It's only a 33% penalty, so it's not like I should never take armor, but, you know. You know the drill. If I can uh, use another stat that's like just as effective, that's great. Smack, smack. Ow. Ow. Run. Some of those dodges would be nice. We're only at 20. But I have not dodged yet this wave. It would be nice to get one of those. There we go. Right at the end, they gave it to me. Ask and receive. <laughs> Bonus enemies for every permanent tax. No. I actively can't. Okay, good. 20% damage up. Two free rerolls in the shop. Yes. 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 I'll even take that. Uh, we're definitely going to get knowledge. Olenki is so expensive. Basically, 185 bucks for... 10 luck and 15 range. It's not... It's just not really worth it. Okay. Not gonna love this wave for us. Just focus down the host for a while. Manually seek them out and kill the babies. Well, we can. Oh no. 
Okay. They didn't get away. Good. Just track them all down. Track them all down. Oh, are we getting some spot? We're just getting some blinking out of existence off camera. That's never good. That's never good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we've unleashed hell. We've unleashed hell on ourselves. We've unleashed hell on ourselves. Ten seconds left, though, so we should be fine. I'd love adrenaline. That'd be a good pickup. That'd be an exceptionally good pickup. It's more attack speed. It's just, it's super good today. I get some max HP. Sedative. Lego. Spatial anomaly. Uh, oh. Vigilante ring. It's a little bit too late. There's adrenaline. Hey. Boss. Interesting. Oh, it's the chef. Yes, chef. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely showing our single target damage and how off the charts it is. Which is just truly why we need so much more attack speed than we need anything else. We can get percentage damage and it's going to look very cool to have such a high number and everything, but... We just need to have it hit more enemies. It's just the genuine truth. Okay. We don't have adrenaline yet. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. All right. I was hoping for a, a dodge in the mix of that. It's fine. Seven seconds. Just live. Just live, just live, just live, just live, just, just live, just live, just live. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my lord. This really shows. Oh wait, that was double legendary. I just processed that. I think the adrenaline sedative. Uh, grab this. Laser turn again, it's like it's just too expensive. It's too expensive for the stat it gives me. Okay, six engine is worth the trade-off. That's worth the trade-off as well. We've got 34 dodge. Okay. Crit for 666. Holy moly. Yeah. Just some hefty damage. Getting smacked slowly. 74 attack speed. It's brought us to a, a really good place. Like, it has a really big impact. High attack speed has a really big impact on slow weapons, of course. Ooh. Fun thing is, like, normally um, dodge doesn't love... For you to go for a, like an HP regen route and stack a lot of health. However, if you do get the um, the potion, it that kind of goes out the window. It becomes good again because it's more likely that you are under half health and getting that extra benefit. So I think we've scaled beyond care. Let's just be smart about this. Vigilante ring again. It's not bad. It's just. I'll, you know what? I'll take an antenna. Five engineering, 5% five attack speed. Snail. I'm just going to skip it at this point. Not that it's bad. Where are you? Oh, I thought it was going to be you. Okay. Oh, get book smacked. Didn't, didn't even get an attack out. Didn't even get your attack out there. Really on this run, it's so crucial that we find the hosts and then get rid of them. It's, the, it's one of the few things that truly is causing problems for us, is the babes. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. I spawned. I stand. Stand on the spawn. I stood on the spawn point and it, uh. No. I just have way too much HP regen for that to be anything but extremely stupid. All right. Schwap, schwap. What's critting for? One of them's critting for 900. See, look at that's the thing is later in the run it gets the more of a difference. This truly does become though. 480 versus 289. It, it's a pretty big jump. I mean, it's common versus legendary, so. It's, Obviously, should be a massive jump, but still. Nice, uh, nice easy run this has turned into. We're not dodge cap, though, you know. 43. 43. I'd love to dodge cap it for sure. Okay. That's the thing about dodge runs right there. That that right there is the dodge run. Uh, yep. I'm trying to play it like I have armor, but it just doesn't work. Dear Retromation, why do you prefer armor to dodge so much? That stretch right there is exactly why. <laughs> but when in Rome... Uh, we don't need to get too much more dodge here. <laughs> Max HP knockback minus damage. I don't want. I don't really want more enemies. I will take a tardigrade. Set it up. Sure. I'll like you to expense. Book, 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 book. Okay, we're critting for a thousand on one of these. Pretty dang good. We ended up at 22% uh, crit chance, so we're probably at 25. I'm guessing this is not does not have any base crit added to it. It's just got like the the default like 3% for. I'm not a crit weapon, but I have a chance to crit. Educated, yes. 25. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much, that's pretty much the case with any weapon that doesn't um, have like a reason to be a crit weapon. Okay, can one of these dodges actually happen? Please? 60% dodge effectively and it's just not happening. Another one. There's one. That There's one when we needed it. Good God, schmoop for sure. Uh, I'm going to basically be dodge capped. Or I'm going to be dodge capped. Oh, come on. There, for dodge capped. Speed and range down is fine. Improved tools is irrelevant. I could take metal plate. Just get a little bit of something, something. Oh, that was enough to push us up too, anyways. Okay. All right. We should, uh, we should kill boss pretty quick. Okay, good. Wild. Yeah, I feel like the character is probably supposed to be played with, um, you know, screwdriver. 3% attack speed for every two engineering you have, minus 50 range. I dig it. I dig it. It's a fun it's a fun item because on engineering runs you usually don't care about attack speed that enough to buy it but it's something you don't you don't want to have none of because you know like on a wrench run or whatever you want to be able to attack fast with the wrenches so that you can knock them out of your melee range you know so that you can knock them into your turrets or whatever also not to mention the fact that obviously this synergizes well with um, the new improvised or improve tools. Or does it? Does it work? 
Yeah, it does. It would. It would. It would. It would work because it's not a, it's not a, a, a temporary stat modifier. It, it is a, more or less, it, it is a quote unquote permanent one. So then, yeah, that would work. All right, it's an interesting combo. Oh well, hey, there we go. That is that. That's all of the characters here for this mod. Checked out a whole bunch of the stuff, a whole bunch of the weapons, everything. Uh, you know was quite wild there's a couple things here and there we didn't get to look at that i may or may not do i just know that you know the longer i check out the same mod the less people are interested in watching the next episode so there's a good chance we move on after this onto something else but there's also a chance that i'll just wake up tomorrow and I'll be like eh, i guess i kind of want to play this part of this mod too but it was a good one i highly recommend the um rotato diversified mod i think it's a very good one i think it's balanced relatively appropriately i think there's like a couple minor things that get silly broken but i don't know if anything got more broken than something you could do in base potato i i don't think that i don't think that there is the case i, I don't know maybe some of them were easier breaks than base potato maybe but i don't think i don't think anything got stronger than something you could just do in a regular run um in a in a major way at the very least like there were some things that were really strong but it's a good mod i i recommend it alas alas thank you for watching check out the channel roguelikes and more every single day and i will see you next time bye